You might wonder why I'm flying in front of a Cambridge police station. And you also might wonder why I'm with dog meat. <laughs> it's because... Oh, I actually didn't notice this. Welcome back to Fallout 4. In the last video, we went to the glowing sea and found Virgil, who is actually a super mutant, not a human. But now, but we're not gonna pursue the main story quest for now, because for now, we are gonna go contact the Brotherhood of Steel. And by Brotherhood of Steel, I mean Paladin Dance. Because apparently we need to go aboard the... That huge-ass floating airship in the sky, where is he? What the hell? What were you doing, Paladin? Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Are you ready to head up to the ship? Yep, I'm ready. Of course ready. I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. The Pridwin. She's loaded with enough the to supply the amount of meat. <laughs> <laughs> the Night Re. Is it, or is it Soldier Reese? Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. By being on her. Received orders that were both to report to her immediately. Or in her. Follow me <laughs> on the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. With a, in a vertibird? In a vertibird! Yay! We get to go flying! Yay! Wait. Beep. Yay! Where is he going? Could have used that right away. Uh, I hate it when this happens. Third time it's happened to me already. Look at him, he's so cute. Look at him, he's so cute. This game. Oh, hello. You? Yep. Nope. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your target before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps to fire on the local. Yeah, that's a thing. Whoa! I just. Heard, I, I hear bullets whizzing by me. Where, though? No. Oh yeah. It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battle changes from the air. We're gonna need that hit to take on the enemy. That's actually that's actually Trinity Tower over there. That one the one superior. Which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. What the institute? Hopefully our air superiority and tactical know how to make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Max will have a plan. Actually no, I don't think that was Trinity Tower. I think that's Trinity Tower, I think. No, 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 that's not Trinity Tower. The one that we passed earlier, the big white one. Yeah, that was Trinity Tower. Let me find Strong in, where I don't know where he is now. I really don't know. He might still be in Trinity Tower. He might not be. I don't know. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Oh, wow. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. It's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Okay then. And I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. Man, this place is cool and man this place is big. Uh oh. I thought I spied a hostile Final animal. Approach to the the Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stay close to me and answer all of his questions. Sure, why not? Is, is that? That looks like the Washington Monument. I don't think it is. Yeah, I passed that on the way here. Wait, well, well, on one of my adventures. What the balls is that doing? What the crap? That's a sentry bot and like... This is a freaking like a ten, like a, like a 15th century galleon with rockets on its belly. What the crap? I don't see anything hostile down below. Maybe it's because I've been through a lot of these areas and killed everything already. Maybe. Possibly.
Boston Airport. Hey, hey. Looks like we're heading to that side. Yeah, there, there is a dock. Or sort of like a docking platform thing. Oh, thing of rejigger. Or not. Why are we going? Uh, I'm wearing the I'm I'm a minute I'm the general I'm the uh, commander general of the minute man. Uh, nice to meet you. Question mark? Question mark? Uh, I hope they don't persecute me for being a minute man. What the crap? Oh, okay, we're being grabbed by a by a thing. There we go. And I think this is where we get off. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. There we go. Yep, come with me, dog meat. I believe it's, I believe I believe it's formal to remove my hat in the pres in, in the uh, in the presence of such a, uh, such thing. So I'm gonna remove my hat. Where's my hat? To come aboard, sir. Permission grant. Welcome back, Mallory. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. Dog. And is this our new recruit? Yes. Sir. You're black. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxims approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Yeah, I'm a knight. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Well, Very good. Okay. Ad Victorian, Captain. Ad Victorian, Paladin. And Paladin Dance and I'll go off and do something else. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. And what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic of the past is playing catch up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Huh. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. You mean like the lone survivor I over in the uh, the course. capital wasteland? He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. Which is? As the captain of this vessel. I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think. And what is your mission, sir? Understood. Uh. Okay then. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. Okay. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Hmm. No I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismiss the ship. At Victorium. I wish I could salute, but okay. I can't talk to you right now. Max is preparing to arrest the And we get another loading screen. Courtesy of Fallout 4 is amazing graphics. Oh. Brothers and sisters. The road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose <laughs> or direction. And most impressively, without question. Dogmi says hi. The ship is in position. It is time to reveal our purpose. And off beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sith. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion 
that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. Dog means getting bored. Like the animal, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us. Who's a good boy? A you are. You are, Dog me. Yes, you are. Yes, you. Are. Okay. To continue this line of experimentation, therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel, and should be dealt with swiftly. It's a good thing I didn't bring Nick up here. Will be costly. <laughs> many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victoria. Ad Victoria. Ad Victoria. I hope your pooch knows where to do his business. If not, you are cleaning it up. <laughs> don't, don't listen to him, Doug. Me, you're a good boy. Who's a good boy? You are. Hi, Elder I Maxon. About them, you know, the people of the Commonwealth. So do I. I can see that they're playing with fire, and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. <laughs> I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. I like that image. I like that image. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And Ed Victorium. befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you. I already have a suit of power armor. <laughs> Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. We can now work use the workshop at Boston Airport. Open your personal storage and send reports to Paladin Dance. Okay then. Thank you. I would like to know where my personal locker is. That's how it ends. Uh, do I? Am I able to? Oh, I think that must be miscellaneous. Then. Show a map. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. I believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Maxim and Paladin Dance. You, you should pronounce his his name with a bit more of your British accent, like Paladin Dance or Dance. Wow. Everything holding together? Trust me. You know. Good. Uh, firing. Alright, alright. was nominal. And you didn't settle the ship. Thanks, Tishy. The balls is this. Giddy up buttercup body. Oh, it's a... Sure. Anytime. I can actually take the ammo from those ammo boxes, really? Then everybody, everybody becomes hostile and starts shooting me, okay. <laughs> okay, I need to head back down and talk to Paladin Dance, who's like here. Yo, Paladin! Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. <laughs> I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Don't worry, I'm a minute man. I know, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. And where is <laughs> Dog meets in an airship like a couple hundred miles above the above the surface of the earth? How the hell is he gonna get back to sanctuary from here? I'll send him back to sanctuary anyway. 
Bye, Dogmeat! I don't know how you're getting back down, but okay! Hello. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, you'd be surprised. Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer them to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Uh... Uh... Wouldn't vault tech screening process have caught this already? vault tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. No okay, problem. Second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. No, probably Never not. I've been seriously sick in my life. Good. Good. Third question. And please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non <laughs> uh, That happens often. <laughs> Never. Uh, no. Never have. Very well. <laughs> Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Uh, I suppose so. Only to defend myself, no problem whatsoever. Uh, I suppose so. I suppose so. Good enough. Excellent. I that, and, a, all the and the clipboard disappears. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Okay. Yeah, we've got we've met the medical officer. And who are you, Proctor? Ah, good. We're we'll finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh, just learning my way around the Pridwen. Learning your way around? Ah, I see. You're the new recruit that Paladin Dance described in his report. There, you pronounced his name Under properly. circumstances, I provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Hmm, I could help. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts, anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. As long as you and tell me where they are. To be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. Nice. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Are you from London? Collect the technical documents for Proctor Quinlan. Well, that's a miscellaneous quest. No. In all honesty, well, in a well known. Okay, who else am I meeting? Proctor Ingram. Hi. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. <laughs> My name's Ingram. And this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor is too tight in the crotch, the crud one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. <laughs> it's power armor, full plate, charm school, sarcasm. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Why are you stuck in it anyway? I understand. Good. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off. I have one so, set already. And if you need any work done on it, 
feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, you'll excuse me. I need to get back to work. So what is it this one? No. Watch your step on the flight deck. It's a long way down. The Felder Max in order to make it follow him to the No. This one. Uh this is the BOS 2 T sixty B. Uh, let me It'll take a look at this. This is like almost the exact same set of armor that I have. In all honesty, but oh, but it has it has it has pretty much more health. So you know what? I am gonna take this. I'm gonna enter it, and I'm gonna bring it back to sanctuary with me so I can so I can store it there. Because because clearly this is better than the other set of power armor that already that I already have. Oh, he likes it when I'm in power armor, power armor, huh? Yo. Step forward, knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't find you. You're the armorer, huh? Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. <laughs> If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Nice. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. <laughs> the good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Okay. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Hmm, extra work? What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farm. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. Does it mean you want me to After steal from local farms? In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Okay. He's a brilliant tactician and an experienced soldier. Where did you get here? Uh, I don't want to take off the helmet. Oh, I leveled up. Yay! Maybe she'll level 21 and Paladin Dance now my com is now my uh, companion. Show no mercy, meet with the other Max, and I don't know what this entails. But I think that's enough time for this video, so thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ta-ta!